Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is a significant day. It is a day that we are transiting into a brand new month. Five months of pure grace. And this is the last day. And so wherever you are, give him a shout. Hallelujah. Hey, I want you to be gingered up and fired up. For today, we are going to do battle in the name of the one who is, was, and is to come. I just want to thank God for this unique opportunity and for City FM and City TV for this wonderful opportunity. Atamans and your people, I always say that you are like the sons of Issachar. You understand the times and the seasons. For putting up this program, may God bless everything that you find your hand to do. Amen. Today is also a day of Pentecost. And because it is a day of Pentecost, I'm believing God for a strong outpouring of the Holy Spirit. So if you are home, May this impartation also come upon you. Amen. Amen. We need to pray without season. We need not to be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, we should make our request known unto God. I bring you Calvary greetings from our national president, Dr. Mrs. Dorothy Danso, the national president of our globe. And every member of our globe who is in intercession this morning, we want to salute you. We want to salute those men and women of God that have come before us. And we want to say that may God richly bless you. Today, as I told you earlier, is the last day of the month. What are you saying unto God? Lift up your voice. And give him thanks. For he deserves to be praised. He deserves to be adored. Oh, every day. But for you, where would we have been? And so this morning we say that. Sing it in any language of your choice. For his mercies are. And you're ever faithful and overshoot Continue to thank him. Continue to thank him. Lamentations 3, verses 21 to 23. It is the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. For his mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness of God. And so this morning we want to appreciate you for the gift of life. For giving us life, we want to say that thank you. It is not by our righteousness, but by your shared mercy. 
And so we want to say thank you. We bless you, O oh God, for the peace we enjoy in this nation. May your name be praised. May your name be adored. Even in this time, O oh God, of, the, of COVID-19, you have been so gracious to us as a nation. We give you praise. We give you glory. We say that our truth, we are God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Monto aye yinyo mano na mi juma yeno kwari eti ranka o na anopeya monto. We say we have no sin. We deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. And so as we come this morning before the mercy seat of God, we don't want to come with pride, but we want to come in humility and say that God cleanse us, cleanse us with your blood. As we stand in intercession this morning, as we stand in the God for the nation, we are coming before him in humility and we would want to agree with the words from Methodist hymn book 356 and say, who is a pardoning God like thee? Oh, who has grace so rich and free? We as a nation are asking for pardon from an offended God. Pardon for sons of deepest die. Pardon bestowed through Jesus' blood. Pardon that brings the rebel nine. Lift up your voice and ask for pardon. We as a nation have sinned against you and the truth has not been in us. Like someone said of his children in 1 Samuel 8 verse 3, we have not walked in your ways. We have turned aside after dishonored gains, accepted bribes, and all forms of inducement, and prevented justice, and not serve you, the true God, alone faithfully. And so, Father, forgive us, even for the many blessings you have bestowed upon us as a nation. We have murmured against you, not giving all the glory to you but shared your glory with human beings. We by our utterances and deeds have not put premium on the peace and stability that our nation enjoys. We ask for forgiveness and we say that may you forgive us. May you forgive us. May you forgive us. And as we read in Jesus, as we read Psalm 130, Wherever you are, lift up your right hand. We want to do this corporately. Psalm 130. And as I read it, say amen. Oh Lord, hear my voice. Amen. Let your ears be attentive to our cry for mercy. Amen. If you, oh Lord, kept a record of sins, oh Lord, who can stand? But with you, there is forgiveness. Amen. Therefore, you are feared. Amen. We wait for the Lord. Amen. Our souls wait. And in his word, we put our hope. Amen. Our souls test for the Lord. Amen. More than watchmen wait for the morning. Amen. More than watchmen wait for the morning. Amen. Oh, Israel, and we are saying Ghana. Put your hope in the Lord. Amen. 
For with the Lord is unfailing love. Amen. And with him is full of redemption. Amen. He himself will redeem Ghana Amen. from all their sins. Don't you mean I say? Sempo wadia tumu swadi ya boni bechaye. Makatole bo. Baba, we know that your ears are attentive to the cry of the righteous. That is why we need, oh God, to go into this session of repentance. To go into this session, oh God, of humility and say that, Father, we have sinned against thee. Father, we thank you, oh God, that your name, oh God, is above every name. And that you have pardoned us through Jesus, the blood of Jesus that sanctify us. We bless you, even in Jesus' name. Now, our theme this morning is let God arise. Let God arise. Now, you realize that throughout the Bible, God will come only to the aid of his people when they turn to him in repentance. And therefore, as we pray as individuals and collectively as a nation, let us forego our evil ways. We know what we have done wrong. We know what God detests, what God calls an, as an abomination, a detestable practice. May we forego from the executive, judiciary, legislature, media, all walks of life in the nation. Let all of us say, that God will forgo our iniquities. Amen. Now we know that when God is provoked to anger and we stay unrepentant, things are never the same. Amen. His protection lifts from us as a people Amen. and he turns his face away. And so we want to say that God, please come back to us as we also return to you. And so this morning, we want to pray with Psalm 106 verse 29. Psalm 106 verse 29. They provoke the Lord to anger by their wicked deeds. And a plague broke out among them. And so we as a nation are interceding and we are saying that, Oh God, oh God, let this plague off the nation because we have realized that you allow this plague to come forth because of our waywardness lift up your voice and pray Father, we know that per your word in Psalm 86 and verse 15, you are full of compassion, you are gracious, you are long suffering, and you are plenteous in mercy and truth. And so, Father, we say that be merciful unto your people, be merciful unto your people, for we do not know what to do anymore. And so we have come to say that be merciful, be merciful unto your people, be merciful unto your people, and let this plague in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are confronted with this situation. We have done all that we know to do, but it is rising. It will take your hand, O oh God, to stop this plague. And so, Father, we come before you and we say that have mercy, for you are a God of compassion. Compassion. You are a God of compassion. Even in Jesus' name, we call it time. Amen. Amen. If you are home, I want you to turn to 2 Kings. 2 Kings 6. 2 Kings 6. We read from verse 24. 2 Kings 6 from 24. I want you to be a participant, please. Open your Bible. So that we can pray as a nation. That is why City TV put up this program, Intercede Ghana, so that all of us as Ghanaians will go before God. Amen. Second Kings 6 from 24. Sometime later, Ben Haddad, king of Aram, mobilized his entire army and marched up and laid siege to Samaria. 
there was a great famine in the city the siege lasted so long say the siege lasted so long the siege lasted so long that a donkey's head sold for 80 shekels of silver and a quarter of a cup of seed pots for five shekels as the king of israel was passing by on the wall a woman cried to him help me my lord the king now the king's reply was so instructive the king replied if the lord does not help you amen where can i get help from for you if the lord does not help you amen where can i get help for you amen. so my mother my father sister or brother listening to us this morning i want you to know that we are on the seed the coronavirus has plagued us the coronavirus has brought all of us to be in a tight corner and it has lasted for a while but we don't have anywhere to turn to our leadership they are doing everything that they know to do our frontliners are doing everything that they know to do but it keeps on rising and so we say that if the lord does not help us as a nation where can we get our help from and that is why we are saying this morning wherever you are lift up your voice come into the presence of god with compassion for the nation that father we seek your help we know that you are the only one who can take this plague away for how long oh god will you continue to watch without doing anything lift up your voice lift up your voice lift up your voice father masuka tire make a tole break make a tire in the name of jesus we come as a nation we come as a nation from the upper west from the upper east from the northern region not western not east we come from the northeast we come from savannah we come oh god and we say that father lift up this place oh god from the bono bono east Ahafo, we ask oh god that come through for your people hey ashanti and eastern region come through for your people ot and volta we ask that you come through for your people oh yehovah from the western western north we ask that you come through for your people oh from the great Accra, central region come through for your people in the mighty name of jesus jesus oh oh jesus oh jesus be merciful oh our advocate speak on our behalf Yeah, 
Whatever you are, sing along with us. Lama Sundere by Ayeswe. Oh, my yo, yo, Yaraka. Kawo, Yani. Lama Sundere, and I was. Ano pe ya se yeni kona mi e dawso ama ya se yeni ah oh ruling government they don't have the answers the opposition they don't have the answers the pastors don't have the answers you are the only one but soon there the scientists they don't have dawso ya se yeni to do a steadily abundantly yani ah la uso onya mi e eswe ah yani ya anka oh yani la uso mo bro o fu eje ya kama fu ni jesus you know the gravity of the situation so they be ya o original we do chrome cast about bomb pipe so Ghana's case count and regional distribution and i do cry edu 7616 and our active cases 5000 161 the recoveries 2421 and the deaths 34 now the upper west if you are in the upper west you got to pray you have to pray 22 upper east 26 north east 2 northern 36 savanna 1 Bunu one, Bunu is until recently Grand Avenue. I have for the Avenue. I sent a thousand one hundred and sixty on a phone to me. Kawanun to try and try. Now you need to see a bomb fire. Onyame obey. Amen. Eastin one hundred and seventeen fifty nine. I didn't think you'd be way by. Now me pass a dramatic. My own who say, "Anya Samoa, what did you say?" So me there, me in bomb pie, me in your way, me in your way. Yakasi and Shamaxa was one shot. 
sanitizer was so in yet running water and green and so on yet just say social distance was so in yet and your day and so I want to say western north sister three western region 395 that being a started that being they do 395 central 376 greater cry our day 500 five, sorry 5331 regional representation so say city uh, city tv see a mumpire 24 hours now it is a vampire lift up your voice wherever you are in your language lift up your voice and speak say god Take authority over this and rebuke that foul spirit of the virus for us. Bompire, bompire. Oh, we're at the same. You're You will rebuke the foul spirit in the upper west. Upper east, upper east. For which channel, 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 for which for which channel, 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 Bono is a radio or two a radio vote and in fifty nine. Oh, I'm not eastern. I'm not doing them that time. I sent you a radio. I'm not the western rich. I'm not the western north in your western rich. I'm not the central. I'm not the great tackle. I'm not the one by why I pay it. So, one by why I pay it. I'm not the one by why I pay it. I'm not the one by why I pay it. I ride the one by my bed. I ride the one by my bed. I ride it. I ride it. I ride We rebuke this power spirit behind the corona bar. I ride let the fire of the Lord come through. In the name of Jesus, Rabbi Abompai, we ask for God that there shall be no community spread of God. Makatole Bobo, Lebebe, Lebebe, Lebaba, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Makatole Bebe, in the name of Jesus, Rabbi Shafio, Rabbi Betimiyo, Rabbi Betimiyo, Rabbi Betimiyo. We are praying, oh God, on some God, come into this situation. You are able, oh God, to turn it around. We do not know the strategy you used to turn it around. But Father, we are praying, we are praying, oh God, that you will have mercy. You will have mercy. You will have mercy. Will have mercy. Wherever you are, Ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. This is not a pleasant situation. This is not a pleasant situation. Ask God for mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Make a tole baba. Make a tie baba. Make a tie baba. Make a tie baba. Thank you, Jesus. How much in Quran? Ma ho wote Meni da so Ni ma ya re sa Mi nya mi Abra ya ti asi Mi ya de ho sha yi mo sa So ye mo wai So ye mo People are dying in oh God Ah papa Active cases 5,000 and over let there be healing, oh God. Oh, my Kato Yaba. I said, Yaya Kato Yabu. And on Tina Yabu. I had him cry. Kabibi Tira Yaba. I said, Oh my God, I 
Let God arise and come to our aid. Let the enemy of the coronavirus be scattered. So we shall time man. Yeah, yeah. My P region distribution. Nasa an opay. That ne could do thirty six. Now confirm cases near seven thousand eight hundred and eighty one. Now recovery is here two thousand eight four one dear. Now every day of your birth. Say yeah, yeah, wo juado ebna dano and say we are country. So I ready we are more, but even if it's eight to twelve, because and then as is here, ya di abe, a di we ya ya no. Twenty ninth and a jokra, and ya ya na ya di ekosi. It shows the gravity of the situation. It shows that there should be the willing women pray. It shows that we should do all that we know to do to back that which the government is doing. And so, if you are a Ghanaian or non Ghanaian in this nation, I crave your indulgence to join in the fight. Amen. Amen. Now, in Numbers 10, in Numbers 10, verse 9, when you go into battle, in your own land against an enemy who is oppressing you mm. <laughs> the coronavirus is oppressing us yes. COVID-19 is oppressing us yes. so we can't do that which we used to do yes. and so the law says that when you go into a battle in your own land against an enemy who is oppressing you sound a blast on the trumpet then you will be remembered by the Lord your God and rescued from, from your enemies. Amen. And so we are believing God that as we blow the shofar this morning, Amen. as we blast the shofar this morning, Amen. if you are home and you have your bubuzela, as I blast the shofar, blast your bubuzela in accordance with the word of the law Amen. from Numbers 10 and from verse 9. Rabba Sundaya Makataya. So, as I blow the sofa, you will say, Jesus, be Lord over COVID 19. <laughs> At the sound of the blast of the shuffle, Makataya, Rabba Sunday, Makataya, Lebakataya, we have turned the battle of oh God into your hand. We are saying, Oh God, that sorceress cannot intervene anymore, powers of darkness cannot influence it anymore. Take over the battle. 
do the warfare on our behalf. For you are the all-powerful God. You are the almighty God. Our redeem in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus' name. I'm praying from Jeremiah 33, verse 11, and you say, Amen. Oh God, let the sounds of joy and gladness be heard in Ghana again. Amen. Oh God, let the voices of the bride and bridegroom be heard in Ghana again. Amen. Oh Lord, let the voices of those who bring thanks offerings to the house of the Lord be heard again. Amen. Oh God, restore the fortunes of uh, the land of Ghana as before. Amen. In the name of Yeshua Mashiach, Amen. our soon coming king. Amen. So now we are praying that God will instruct, counsel and direct our president. Yes. Today is a strategic day. 31st of May, everybody is waiting. What is the president going to say? Mm-hmm. But we are saying that whatever he's going to say, May God look at it, add or subtract from it. May God make sure that that which he will bring will not cause Ghana to miss our providential way. Lift up your voice. In the mighty name of Jesus, you hold the future of this land. And so we bring the president, the vice, the cabinet, and all those who sit in council with him. And we are saying, oh God, that you will guide them. You will guide them, oh God, so that Ghana will not miss our providential way. Let God arise and influence their decision. As the executive prepares to come out with the next phase of relaxing the restrictions, we ask that God, only the will, only the will, only the perfect will of God shall stand in the name of Jesus. We pray, O God, that you will add or subtract from, O God, whatever decisions that will be taken in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, we are praying that you, O God, will suck at make it here that your decisions, O God, will move Ghana forward in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, that their decisions, O God, will settle the matters, O God, that are outstanding on the health front, that there shall be no misunderstanding on the health front, in the name of Jesus, that that which will be brought out to God will move Ghana forward, in the name of Jesus. Oh, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let, Let God, God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. God for his intervention in other COVID-19 related matters. Financial market. Financial matters. Now at the 94 Monetary Policy Committee press conference, the governor of the Bank of Ghana was quoted by graphic business as saying that leading indicators of economic activity during the first quarter of this year so just a slowdown in the economy. Oh, we already have mess. Yes. This was attributed to the restrictions 
social distancing and the partial lockdown. He says the slowdown affected the private sector's contributions to social security. Hey! Hey. As a result of this development, the Bank of Ghana's Composite Index of Economic Activity, I friend CIE, contracted by 2.2% in 2020, compared to a growth of 5.6% for the corresponding period of 2019. Hey. The gains as a nation have been eroded. Now, Onyami and Bemua, you pay your thing. Onyami, have mercy. So, we are going to pray that God will give our leaders and all of us as a nation divine ideas, Amen. strategies to reverse this downward trend. Now, when I'm saying Onyami or Manyansan, Onyami or Mani Payotiful, Onyami Bemua. Lift up your voice. Oh, this is a picture of gloom. But one thing that we know is that you are able to make things turn around. You are a God that is a way maker. And therefore, make a way, oh God, for us, oh God, in our economic issues, oh God. Give the economic management team the wisdom. Give the opposition the wisdom to bring the ideas. Give parliament, oh God, the wisdom. And all of us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. But there are rippling, a lot of rippling effects from this COVID-19 pandemic. Oh God, restore, help restore economic activities and mitigate the impact of the COVID-19 on households in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, that was it. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, to be able to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 on households, the government launched the coronavirus alleviation program and parliament subsequently approved and voted 600 million Ghana to be used as soft loans for businesses, especially those in the micro, small, and medium enterprises sector. So we are praying that the in the, in the Sum and Adum special loans to be disbursed by the National Board for Small Scale Industries will be done in a transparent and an inclusive manner. They will be frustrated to bompai. Bompai. We are praying for the executive director of the MBSSI, Mrs. Kosi Yanki Aye, and her team for wisdom, insight, fortitude, and selflessness. Oh God, in the discharge of their duties, may God help them to succeed in this daunting task. We are also praying that God, oh God, will come through for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So we are praying that the recipients of these loans, you know, God will bless the work of their hand. Amen. That as their businesses flourish, they will pay back their loans after they are chosen monitorium period. Bompire, lift up your voice. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, because of God of the coronavirus and it's COVID-19. That is why these monies are being distributed with a low percentage rate of 3%. And so we are asking, oh God, that you bless the work of the hands of the people. That, oh God, will be recipient. And your name will be glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are also praying that we'll be flexible in the way we do our things. COVID-19 has brought a lot of changes. And so we need to be flexible. We need to employ technology more in everything that we used to do we can't do those things we are praying to be able to move in this direction 
so that things will be faster in this nation for us as we use technology. Vampire. Robo Sakataya. Ah, Father, we have set ways. But let there be a paradigm shift in our mindset to God. The use of technology of God as we do the meetings via Zoom and all kinds of God on platforms of God. It is faster, it is time saving, and it is, oh God, even economically sound. And so we are praying that we will use of God, even in, 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 in our transactions, we will use of God the platforms that have been created for us, even in the mighty name of Jesus. We call it time. Amen. Now, in this era of COVID 19, The EC says that by the end of June, we are going to do a new voters register. Now, we cannot go the way we used to go. And so they have come up with their kind of COVID-19 plan. We are praying. There's a lot of bruha around it. And we are asking that God, who is the author and finisher Amen. of everything, yes. will oversee everything that we yes. do. Now, he will judge the motives of the EC, judge the motives of the political parties, judge the motives of all of us as we conduct this national exercise in this COVID-19 era, that all of us will be truthful to the cause of Ghana, Amen. our motherland, so as we sing the national anthem wherever you are this is a national duty and i want you to take it as your civic duty as we sing the national anthem no that is it's a prayer ready go god bless our homeland Ghana, and make our nation great and strong Bold to defend forever the cause of freedom and of right. Fill our hearts with true humility. Make us cherish fearless honesty and help us to resist our presence. Lord of Adana. Now, you realize that in the lines in between, he said, God will help us to resist the oppressor's rule. So in Ghana, we are praying that as we go about this registration and everything, there, 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 there will be no oppression. There will be no oppression from the majority. There will be no oppression from the minority. There will be no oppression from the EC. There will be no oppression from any quarter. Only the will of God shall be upheld in this nation. Lift up your voice. Labrakataya. Yebeke toya babaya. We just sang our national anthem. We as the people subscribe to the words of the national anthem. We are saying, oh God, that you will not allow the tyranny of the minority or the majority. You will not allow the tyranny, oh God, from any quarter. There will be no oppression whatsoever. Spiritual oppression, physical oppression, you will hold it away in the name of the one who is able to calm tempest. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rabasa. Lebeketo. Le makataya. Le meketo le bobo. Le kataya. In the mighty name of Jesus. Le kataya. Rabasundi. Le kataya baba. Talababa. Le bebe. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask of God that there shall be order. There shall be order. There shall be civility. There shall be decorum. As we discuss these issues, God, this nation will not be planned into any care. 
in this coronavirus era you oh god will come through and make sure that as we register the people will not contract the disease in the name of jesus Rabba Sandari Brianda Rababa in the name of Jesus. <laughs> oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Our shelter from the stormy blast. And I eternal home under the shadow of thy throne, thy saints have dwelt secure. Sufficient is thine arm alone, and our defense is sure. And I Tell the Lord to remember his covenant. In Zachariah 2.5 That he himself will be a wall of fire around the nation. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus name. Now. Amen. We are praying. There is something that is rising up. On the health front some misunderstanding wants to break out and why in this era Amen. as we fight the pandemic together we are saying that as they sit down to discuss God himself will make sure that there's the peace and understanding in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ above all we be our president beckon your bomb pie say when you mean why you into me find each one into when you mean as we conclude this session, my God, my God, my God, my God. Every day, issues. Yeah, do you see the abba? The elbow bumper, and so on the health front. Every day, oh my for any strike to emerge. No way, not at this time. You, oh God, will make sure that every discussion, oh God, will be undergirded with respect, love for the nation. And love for one another. PPE, I want to hear you, Nara. Rade, what you have done? You don't see much of this, you know. May our health workers be preserved. May our health workers, oh God, enjoy that which they do, so that everything, oh God, that we need to do for them, let us do it for them, to your glory and to your honor, even in Jesus' name. Amen. Now the last last segment. It's about the fact that we are transiting into June. And what, what do you want to see in this new month of June? This is like your personal prayer. As we have prayed for the nation. What do you want to see in this nation, in your life? Lift up your voice. Lift up your heads, all you gates of June. Be lifted up. Lift up your heads, you gates of June. Be lifted up. For the king of glory has to enter. Who is this king of glory? He is the Lord mighty in battle. This month we are praying that as we enter into June, hey, the, the Lord will have mercy. The gracious hand of the Lord will be upon this nation. That the Lord himself will come through. That as we enter into the month of June, Ghanaians will not die. We will not die. Because you will lift up your hand. And you will do valiantly for your people. Therefore we will not die. We will live to declare the good works of the Lord. Father, we are saying that as we enter the month of June, there are predictions that Africa will record death and death. But we are praying and we are asking that you will stop it in the name of Jesus. May you negate every natural disaster. Makataya, every national disaster. We ask of God that the weather pattern of God shall be good. In the name of Jesus. Rabba Soketole Bebe. In the Kete. 
Rabasaya in Jesus name we call it done now as I decree Psalm 64 on the nation as I say it say amen hide Ghana from the conspiracy of the wicked amen. from that noisy crowd of evil doers amen they sharpen their tongues like salt Amen. and aim their words like deadly arrows. Amen. They shoot from ambush at the innocent man. Amen. They shoot at him suddenly without fear. Amen. They encourage each other in evil plans. Amen. They talk about hiding their snares. They say, who will see them? Amen. They plot injustice and say, we have devised a perfect plan. Amen. Surely the mind and heart of man are coming Amen. they are coming but God but God but God will shoot them with arrows Amen. suddenly they will be struck down Amen. he will turn their own tongues against them Amen. and bring them to ruin Amen. all who see them will shake their heads Amen. in scorn Amen. all mankind will fear they will proclaim the works of God Amen. and ponder what he has done. Amen. Then let the righteous rejoice in the Lord Amen. and take refuge in him. Amen. Let all the upright Amen. in heart praise him. Amen. 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 And I, I decree Isaiah 31 verse 5 on the nation. Isaiah 31. Like birds hovering overhead. Amen. The Lord Almighty will shield Ghana. Amen. He will shield it Amen. and deliver it. Amen. He will pass over it Amen. and rescue it Amen. from COVID-19. Give him a shout. Yeah. Give him a shout. Give him a shout. Yeah. Mama Kata. Mama. Maswa. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, so you are going to just speak into lives. Short, short, short. Speak into the lives of the people in June. What do you want to see? Makata. Makata. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you. Give to you. Okay. Makata. Neka odo chahe la no ba fasi si ya mangana ni mo fi amo ne ko mo la ba chale no tu enjole ko enjole ke no ya ke chale mo ba ba ma no ba chie in the name of Jesus yes ba manche hano no nyama fa oha wo ya ma ne yes Lord hano wo chi anyom wo mi ya wo ba ye se mo ne wo bon ba je wo ko fa no wo na he mo ke yeli yo mi ako yes Lord no ko wo ba gbena thank you Auntie Mabel give tea the peace of God that uh, passes all understanding shall yes. rest on Ghana yes. in this month of June. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, if you were part of Intercede Ghana, I want you to know that for this singular act, you are blessed. Amen. You will enjoy the fat of the nation. Amen. Because you decided to be part of this move. Yes. May God open the heavens over Amen. you. Bless the work of your hands. Amen. May he open his treasury Amen. and make sure that you are well secured. Amen. May the Lord give you a commanded blessing Amen. in every area of your la la uh, life Amen. that you have experienced darkness. Amen. May God bring light Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. When the enemy shall come against you like a flood, may God the spirit of God lift up a standard Amen. against the enemy. Amen. May laughter be your portion. Amen. May you laugh and laugh. Amen. May God deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Amen. May God make sure that when a thousand shall fall by your side, Amen. ten thousand by your right hand, it shall not come near you. Amen. Only with your eyes Amen. shall you behold Amen. the reward of the wicked. Amen. But in all that, make Christ the center of your life Amen. and you will not regret it Amen. as we close let's lift up worship
Yes. 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 Yes.